What's up YouTube of Visual Gaming Network and welcome to episode 14 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode we implemented gravity and jumping into our game. This episode, that's right, we're going to be adding sprites and sprite sheets. Well we're not going to be adding them but we're certainly going to be sort of creating the code for them. So I'm going to kick this right off and we're going to go create a new package and we're going to call it com.tutorial.mario.graphics. I like to call it GFX but you can actually type graphics if you want. I just like to type GFX for short. And in our package we're going to create two new classes. One is going to be called Sprite. Alright, let's create that. And we're going to create one more class, and this will be called Sprite Sheet. And now we're going to be creating a new folder. So we'll just right click on Mario and we'll go New Folder. And we're going to call it Res, or short for resources, because this is where all our resources will go, like our sprites, sprite sheets, sounds, etc. So now we're going to create a private buffered image sheet and then we're not actually going to initialize it we're just going to put a semicolon on the end and uh, remember to import buffered image now we're going to create the constructor for sprite sheet so we'll go public sprite sheet and we're going to put in one parameter and it's going to be string path so i'm going to explain this after we type it so we're just going to type sheet is equal to image io dot read get class dot get resource then path and why we get an error is it because it throws an io exception so we're going to hover over it and click surround with try and catch so what this is pretty much doing is that let's say we set path equal to sprite sheet dot png which we will this, what this will do is that it will find any file in the res folder that is named spritesheet.png, gets the data from that, turns it into a buffered image, then sets sheets in, into the buffered image it just created. Just a brief explanation. It's the most brief explanation I could do. So we're going to create a method here, a buffered image method. Uh, so I'm just going to type it and then we'll then I'll explain it to you guys. So we want to type public buffered image get sprite. Then we're gonna in the parameters we'll type int x and int y int width and int height. Actually no we'll just make int x int y. So in here we're gonna return we're gonna return sheet dot get sub image x oh, my bad x times 32 minus 32 then y times 32 minus 32 then the width and height will be 32 and 32 so to explain this uh, in a better way I'm actually just gonna open up GIMP to show you guys alright so excuse my terrible drawings so Let's just say this is a sprite sheet, and in here is a sprite, this is a different sprite, yeah, and so on. And because when we want to render one sprite from the sprite sheet, we don't want to render the whole sprite sheet, we only want to render, let's say, this sprite as one buffered image. So what the method we just created will do is that we specify a starting x and starting y coordinate, then a width and height, and let's say the all the... Uh, points we just put in took up this whole area our model will do it'll actually create a separate buffered image but only in this area so when we try to render sprites we don't have to use all this math to get certain sprite it is already just a simple buffered image so now we're gonna go to our sprite class and we're gonna create the constructor for our sprite so 
I'm gonna type public sprite. And I'm gonna type sprite sheet sheet int x int y. And uh, before our constructor, we're just gonna initialize some variables. I mean, create them. Sorry. So we'll type public sprite. My bad. Sprite sheet sheet and public int x and y. Actually, no, we don't need the x and y, but we do need a public public buffered image image. And we just need to import buffered image. And in here, we're just going to type image is equal to sheet dot get sprite, then x and y, the ones that we have specified here. And we're going to create another method, and this will be called public buffered image get buffered image. And we're just going to type in here return image. And why we create this method here is because when we draw images onto the screen, in which we will do be doing in future episodes, we draw buffered images onto the screen, but of course, we will want to render our sprite. But if we try to render our sprite, it won't work because Java doesn't know that sprite is meant to be a buffered image. So when we actually render our sprite, get buffered image, we'll actually get the buffered image of that sprite and then render that. And this is what this method will do. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Next episode, we'll probably put all this code to use that we created in this episode and actually render a sprite onto the screen. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.